So, good day. <laughs> In this video, we're going to talk about canonical correlation. So, first, let us define the word canonical. The word canonical is used to indicate a particular choice from a number of possible conventions. It is also the statistical term for analyzing latent variables, which are not directly observed, that represent multiple variables which are directly observed. So the term can also be found in canonical regression and multivariate discriminant analysis. Now let us define canonical correlation. It is the interrelationships between sets of multi multiple independent variables and multiple dependent measures. Um, it is used to quantify the strength of the relationship. So in applying canonical analysis, it is, self it is helpful to think one set of variables as independent and the other set is dependent, but, is, but it does not imply that they share a causal relationship but instead it simply refers to how the two sets of multiple variables correlate so we have the general form of canonical analysis the general form of canonical analysis can be expressed as y sub 1 plus y sub 2 plus y sub 3 plus y sub 10 is equal to x sub 1 plus x sub 2 plus x sub 3 plus x sub n so, there are six stages involved in analyzing relationship with canonical correlation. So, the first stage involves the objectives of canonical correlation analysis. So, first, we determine the relationships among sets of variables. Then, we should next achieve maximum correlation. Then, we need to explain the nature of relationships among sets of variables. Stage 2 involves designing a canonical correlation analysis. So we must identify um, the sample size of our data. Stage 3, um, we have to use the assumptions in canonical correlation, which will be um, demonstrated using SPSS later. Then stage 4, we derive a canonical functions and and assessing overall fit. So, deriving canonical variates, so it involves the functions, so each, each of the pairs of variates is orthogonal and independent of all other variates derived from the set, same set of data. Um, then, we should ask which canonical functions, functions should be interpreted. So, is it the level of significance, the, the magnitude of the canonical relationships, or the redundancy measure of shared variance? Stage 5 involves interpreting the canonical variate. So, it could be the canonical weights or the standardized coefficients, canonical loadings or structure correlations, and or canonical cross loadings. And then, in stage 6, we validate and diagnose our given data. So for our example, we have a researcher has collected data on three psychological variables, four academic variables or standardized test scores, and gender for 600 college freshmen. So she is interested in how the set of psychological variables relates to the academic variables and gender. In particular, the researcher is interested is interested in how many dimensions are necessary to understand the association between the two sets of variables. So we have here the given data file for our example. Um, the data set has 600 observation on 8 variables. Um, the psychological uh, variables are locus of control, 
self-concept, and motivation. The academic variables uh, includes um, read, reading, writing, math, science, and the additional variable is female. Um, the variable female is a 0, 1 indicator variable with the one indicating a female student. So, SPSS performs canonical correlation using the MANOVA command. So, MANOVA will compute the canonical correlation analysis used with the scream option. So, first, we need to open the syntax window. So, we should click File, New, then Syntax. So, we have here our, syn our syntax editor. Now, should put um, the codes or the syntax that will be used to compute um, the, co the canonical correlation. So we have here MANOVA. Locus of control. Self-concept. Motivation with read, write, math, science, female, So here are the given syntax to compute for the canonical correlation. So all we have to do is highlight those um, syntax, then click run. The output below give, um, begins with an overall multivariate test of the entire model using four different multivariate criteria. This is followed by the three canonical correlations and the multivariate tests of each of the dimensions. These results show that the first two of the three canonical correlations are statistically significant at the, at the 0 0.05 level. Then here we have the overall multivariate tests for dimensionality. We also have the canonical correlations as well. How much variance of the defendant um, variables is explained by the, by the dimensions. So for this particular model, there are three can canonical dimensions of which only the first two are statistically significant. The first test of dimensions of dimensions test whether all three dimensions combined are significant. Um, the next test um, whether dimensions two and three are um, combined or significant. So finally the last test whether dimensions um, dimension three by itself is significant. Um, therefore dimensions one and two must each be significant. The raw canonical coefficients above are used to generate um, the canonical variates represented by the columns 1, 2, and 3 in the coefficient tables for each set. They are interpreted in a manner analogous to interpreting regression coefficients. In example, for the variable read, a uh, one unit increase in reading leads to 0.4 
66 increase in the first canonical var rate of the covariate set when all of the other variables are held are held constant here is another example being female leads to a 0.6321 increase in the dimension 1 for the covariate set with the other predictors held constant. The raw canonical coefficients are followed by the standardized canonical coefficients. The standardized canonical coefficients are interpreted in a manner analogous to interpreting standardized regression coefficients. So for example, consider the variable read. Considered Consider the variable read. A one standard deviation increase in reading leads to a 0.45 standard deviation increase in the score on the first canonical canonical variate for the covariate set when the other variables in the model are held constant. So to end this video there are only things to consider. So we have, um, as in the case of multivariate regression, MANOVA, and so on for valid inference, canonical correlation analysis requires the multivariate normal and homogeneity of variance assumption. Number two, canonical correlation analysis assumes a linear relationship between the canonical variance variates and each set of variables. Similar to multivariate regression, canonical correlation analysis requires a large sample size. Thank you and God bless.